Hey there, everyone. I just wanted to share a couple of new features that Zoom's released over the last um, you know, month, essentially, and th the impact they're going to have on facilitation, because I think it's really incredible. Um, about two or three weeks ago, we saw a, a new feature where um, you can rearrange the gallery view and you can also multi spotlight folks. So I want to show you, I want to show you that. And also uh, last week, last Monday, they released the ability to um, allow participants to choose their own breakout rooms. This is really, really huge. So I want to show you that as well. So those, those are the main things that we're going to take a look at and let's dive in. So I've joined a zoom session here with a few of my friends and I've turned off video just so that it's not, um, not too jarring. So, um, so here we have the, the zoom and you'll notice I've got it in speaker view right now. And what I'd like to show you is that um, you can actually now in speaker view um, spotlight multiple people. So, um, so the way you do that is you would, um, you, you would spot, where is spotlight? No, <laughs> how'd this happen? Okay, uh, let me just double check. Yeah, we're good there. Okay. Um, well, there's a difference between pin and spotlight and I'm not sure at the moment why this is happening, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it. So let's go into gallery view and, oh, of course, if you're in, <laughs> excuse me, if you're in, um, if you're in gallery view, then you will get your spotlight option. And so um, let's see here. So if I go and uh, I don't know what's going on, it's behaving differently, but let me just show you the other thing I was hoping to show you. So let's, um, you can now rearrange folks, okay? And so once we rearrange to how we like, then we can come up into the view here and we can click follow host video. And if we do that, that means everyone in the meeting will see the same order, okay? Another thing that's really interesting is if um, if someone raises their hand, so let me go ahead and like move Robert, you know, somewhere else, let's say to the bottom. And then if Robert were to raise his hand, he'll move to the front. This is really pretty incredible because um, it I find it helps to um, easily see who who's got their hand raised. So even though you've got this order um, selected, um, you can't actually reorder them now because um, in fact, I'm getting this message here that says you can't do it because they have their hand up. So as soon as their hand goes down, they'll be moved back to the same order. So it can be really handy if you want to go around the room and instruct people to uh, you know, follow a specific, follow the order that they see. Uh, it can kind of speed up some facilitation. So, uh, so really handy there and um, uh, the other thing I want to show you here is on the release video order. So if you do that, now the order goes back to the, um, to the order that um, Zoom had designated. Now, if I start reordering them again, you'll notice now those options come up and it's still got follow host um, view checked, which means even if I, I can release it and then reorder it, and they're still going to follow what I'm doing. So I can uncheck follow, and now they won't be following my changes anymore. So this follow host video order is really just um, um, going to impact whether they're seeing. Now, one thing to note is this only has impact in gallery view. So just to show you what I mean, I'm going to go ahead and steal host. Um, uh, I'm going to let Peter take over. And so now that Peter is the host, as Peter, I can come down and I can change the order. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the order. I'm gonna, um, on Peter's machine, put Peter first. And you can see that my machine automatically snapped to, to meet that. Now, if I were to, as Peter, now uh, release the order, then um, of course my order got released and I can make changes, uh, but those changes aren't gonna reflect. So they're gonna, they're still going to be um, following the order any ordered moves that I make because they're they're still set to follow. So that's um that's something to to kind of keep in mind that um, you can release it that won't have any impact. Um, so I just hit release on on the other side and now if I rearrange then um, 
then you will start to see the follow. So just keep that in mind. If you release, um, they won't see a change. If you start making more changes, they're going to continue to follow. So even though you can't see that follow button, um, there will be following. So I'm going to go ahead and reclaim host. And I'm going to show you the next thing I'm really, this is the thing I'm really, really excited about, the breakout rooms. So now when you start breakout rooms, you'll see this is an additional option for um, let um, participants choose rooms. This is really incredible if you want to do any uh, kind of explorative networking or you want to allow people to do like um, a uh, rural cafe or um, open space technology and even a shift and share and really, really difficult to do those things um, before. And now this really opens up a lot of possibility. So let's go ahead and create the rooms. Um, you'll notice now we have one room and you notice that um, allow participants to choose rooms is another checkbox here. So we could have uh, we could have gone and said assign automatically if we wanted to kind of randomly move people into these different rooms, but still allow them to, to move after the fact. So we could randomly put people in different categories, but then still let them wander around, which can be really powerful. We can also, as we always could have, you know, um, uh, select different names for for the breakout rooms. And so, you know, if these are different topics of things that, you know, they might want to eat for breakfast, um, uh, then, um, then, then they could, of course, uh, have that, have those options. Now I'm going to go ahead and recreate rooms. I'm going to say, let participants pick. I'm just going to pick, uh, let's see, three different rooms. And when I do that, we'll see room one, two, three. Now I'm going to go ahead and open the rooms and you'll notice that, um, Robert and Peter stayed in the room with me, right. And they're not assigned. And so on the, um, on the screens for them, they have, um, they have now have the ability to jump into the rooms that they want to jump into. And um, so if I were to, let me go ahead and just close all rooms. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and now uh, reclaim host over here for, um, you know, for Peter. And I'm going to have Peter do the same thing. So now you can see the participant experience. So, um, so let's take a look here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say recreate rooms, um, assign automatically. I'm going to create three rooms and then I'm going to open the rooms. Now you'll notice that, um, okay, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to close the rooms really quick and, um, and that's going, I'm going to go ahead and leave this room. There's one thing I did. I went, I automatically assigned them. So you notice that, uh, it moved me to, to the room automatically. And what I wanted to do instead was to, to leave you, leave them unassigned. So it's still doing the countdown in the rooms. So it's going to be a minute before everyone joins back in. But while I do, I can, I can show you, um, well, I guess I can't because it's still in this waiting period. So in 20 more seconds, I'll show you a few options for um, for some cool things you can do here, um, or at least so that you can see the uh, participant screen and what they what they do. And there's a question here from Tyrone while we're waiting: um, uh, Is there an additional cost beyond the professional edition? No, you just have to have a paid account. So I believe it's the $15 a month count will get you access to all these features. So you just you, another thing to note is you have to upgrade Zoom. So you have to have the, the, the most recent version of Zoom, which is 5.30 or higher on your machine and all your participation machines to, for this to work. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to recreate the rooms. I'm going to say let participants choose. That was my mistake from before. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, now I can click breakout room. And you'll notice that I have a join button here by each one of these so I can go join the other room. So maybe I want to go hang out with Peter Murphy. I can go do that. And, um, you know, I've got the, and now I'm in the meeting with, with Peter Murphy. So it's for, so it's very simple. They can click the, click the breakout rooms and then click the join to pop around the different names and they can see who's in there before they join. Um, very cool. So now I'm going to show you another thing to, to be aware of. 
So um, again, <laughs> I'm going to have to, uh, we're going to have to wait a minute um, for you to see these, these, um, uh, these updates. But what I'm going to do, I want you to see what happens when the, um, when the participant is not assigned to a room. So I'm going to, um, in another 30 minutes, we'll be able to do that. And if anyone has any other questions, happy to answer those too. And um, um, we will be kind of looking at this very shortly. So one moment. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, excellent. I think I just did a little um, poking around on my other machine and it dawned on me that uh, the reason that I couldn't, um, I couldn't have, I couldn't show you spotlight was because I don't have my video on. <laughs> so I didn't um, inundate with you a bunch of copies of myself, but um, maybe I'll turn that on and show you spotlight in a moment. But we do have a question here. Do all participants need to have the latest release of Zoom for these features, or can I have to facilitate this for everybody? So, um, so Kellyanne, you can certainly re um, rearrange people in the gallery view, no problem. Um, and um, um, you can totally do that, no problem. So you can drag them around. I'll have to reclaim host to show you that again. But um, but again, um, you can do that and. They don't need to have the updated Zoom. Now, if you want them to be able to move around on their own, they need the updated Zoom. Now, if you've got a mixed group, and so some of your people are moving around on their own, but some have an older version of Zoom, you'll have to move them for them or ask them to upgrade it. And the upgrade's really quick. You just um, go and um, uh, just, I'll just, I'll show you real quick. So if you click on, your 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 kind of avatar face, and then you can go for check for updates. And you know, right now I'm up to date because I've got 5.3. But if you weren't up to date, it would do that check for you. Um, I'm on a Windows machine at the moment, but the Mac is very similar. It's just in the upper left hand corner of the Zoom app. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's that's how you do the upgrade. So let's um, let's go back to the meeting here and then take a look at. Um, and what happens when you're not assigned a room? So I'm going to go ahead and recreate the rooms. Um, I'm going to go ahead. And, so we've got no one in any room. We have the setting for allow participants to um, to choose room. I'm going to uncheck the countdown this time, so we'll be able to exit much faster. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open the rooms. And you'll see here, that this immediately pops up. They didn't have to click on anything. Join a breakout room. Now. They, in order to join a breakout room, they have to click on this button, and then they'll get the, then they'll open this pop up, and they can click join on one of these rooms, and they can also expand to see if someone else is in there. So just to show you what um, what that looks like is um, if I were to on this machine here go ahead and um, and join one of the rooms as the as the host, then um, then you'll see that Robert Smith is in there and you can go hang out with Robert Smith or you could wait for Peter Murphy to join a room if you'd rather talk to some Bauhaus folks. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the room. And then one last thing I'll show you is if I turn on my video, um, and of course it's uh, one of the things I was afraid of. I've got two apps trying to capture my video now. So um, StreamYard and Zoom, so it's looking a little crazy. But just ignore that, and you'll now see that the spotlight for everyone. So we've always had the ability to pin video. So if I pin it, you know, whenever I'm in speaker view, it doesn't matter who's speaking. I'm always going to see this. Well, the difference between pin and spotlight is quite cool because you can now um, you can like so. Of course, remove pin is going to going to show who's speaking. But um, if I spotlight now everybody who sees this um, sees this feed will um, will be able to to see that person. Now the other thing that's really cool is let's say that we we spotlight two different people. Now um, we've got both people inside of speaker view spotlighting. 
So you can do some really cool stuff. For instance, if you want to have kind of a webinar feel with multiple people talking, like kind of a panel, but still have uh, it be a meeting so you can have breakouts and things, you can kind of recreate um, this kind of like, here are the talking heads. Here are the three or four people that are talking because okay, I'm spotlighting them. can be really handy for a fishbowl type of setting if you're spotlighting, but you really have to stay on top of it because you have to remember to uh, to remove spotlight and to add spotlight, et cetera. So, um, so just keep in, keep in mind that, um, that you got to do those things. And the cool thing is that a co-host um, as well as the host can spotlight video. So that is, uh, that is very handy. So those are all the things I wanted to show you. Remember, you can upgrade to um, the, um, oh man, yes, uh, that's, um, sorry about the screen share freezing. Um, it is an artifact of having an extra camera going. So um, sorry about that, but let me see. I, I think I can maybe reboot this potentially. Um, yeah, it's not going to happen. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, <laughs> Paulius, for letting me know that. In your view, what's the best way for people to break out rooms to bring back their small group uh, to uh, to work back to the main room? Is Zoom making it easier to share back? Yeah, so far, we haven't seen anything handy for, for that. Um, and, you know, I uh, we usually go out of band, so we might go into mural. And we might have murals per breakout rooms. And then when we get back into the main session, we'll look at those murals together. But yeah, you're right. Um, there's um, some people will use the the whiteboard inside of Zoom or other or the chats, and that stuff's not going to be available when you get back to the main room. So recommend using some other tool to bring that stuff together where everyone can see it. Um, sorry about the video crashing. Um, that's why I had the video turned off in Zoom earlier, but um, it, uh, uh, I really wanted to show you the spotlight. So, um, again, um, hope you enjoyed and, um,